you list a lot of achievements uh, under the Peace Council, but if you have put in your, 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 your ears to the ground as well, I'm sure that you have seen that the Peace Council has come under a lot of criticism. There are people who have called for a dissolution of the council, that you are in living up to expectation and you have been very quiet, especially under this government. Would you say that the Peace Council is not biased? No. You see, we must understand the composition of the council over the years. The current council came into being in November, one month before the election. Uh, and so when we came in, we had to deal with all the issues of the election. After that, we had to come together. Have our in also... November? In... Last year. Last year. Yes. You see, the council members there for four years. And then after four years, they rotate out, another council comes in. So since its inception, it's not been the same group of people. Right. Right. So some people don't understand that. So sometimes when they're talking about the current council, they are referring to some activities of the past. And I think that that, that clari uh, clarification must be made. So we came into office in November. And that was only one month before the election. And then in January, we had our own strategic uh, plan meeting and then decided to chart the way forward. Now, for this particular council, we have decided not to go on the route of condemning people. And the reason is that because we are mediators, once you begin to take sides in any given situation or any given issue, it becomes difficult then for you to be a mediator. And so there have been all kinds of things happening. Instead of rebuking people openly and telling them we condemn this, we condemn that, we rather meet with them quietly, help them to understand the import of what they've said, what it means, and the impact it has on the society. Now, because we've done this quiet diplomacy, sometimes people think that, why are you not talking? Why are you not talking? Even our press statement that came out this uh, past week, uh, if it had not been some of these comments that we had heard in the news and on social media that the, where is the Peace Council, we wouldn't have even issued a statement. Or everybody would have seen that something, somehow there's some quietness. And yet, the council has been working. So there have been a lot of activities going on.